toasted or not toasted? Not toasted. Scoop bagels. No. <laughs> Rainbow bagels. No. New Jersey bagels. No. <laughs> Montreal bagels. I don't even know what those are. Okay, there you have it. <laughs>decide which politicians to vote for. Here at the Brooklyn Bagel Blog, it's all about their bagel order. In a crowded New York City mayoral race, Catherine Garcia's order stood head and shoulders above the rest of the field. So we met up with her at her favorite shop, the Bagel Hole in Park Slope, to grill her on her bagel platform. Hi, I'm Sam from the Brooklyn Bagel Blog, and I'm joined here by Catherine Garcia, mayoral candidate and hopefully the next mayor of New York City. Tell us what your favorite bagel is. Absolutely. It's an everything bagel with cream cheese, onion, tomato, lox, and caper. Not to So this has actually been coined the Catherine Garcia order. It has been. Brownstone bagels, is that correct? That's they, correct. They put up a picture of it. They made a picture of it. They made a little poster in their store. Aren't this is fabulous, but I feel like it shows you exactly what you should be getting on your bagel. This is a perfect bagel order right here. And this is the reason why you got the endorsement from the Brooklyn Bagel Blog uh, for the mayor. The most important endorsement. The most I important. Received. The bagel blog. The bagel blog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a strong voting blog. The best way to reach voters is through their stomach. So, I've, I've realized that. So, <laughs> because of that, what we're going to try to do is between now and the primaries, I'm going to try to get as many bagel shops as possible to rename this sandwich to Catherine Garcia. Help me out with the pitch for why bagel shops should support you, should put the Catherine Garcia up. What are you gonna do for restaurants and small businesses? Well, one, because I have the classic bagel order, but two, because I have a plan that really supports small business, about giving them more public space to be able to sell, and also making sure that we have micro loans to support them. You know, we need to have our small businesses come back and come back strong. So I have a 100% selfish question that I wanted to ask with this regard. My vision is to bring all of New York's best bagel shops into one place in time for a bagel festival. Ooh, the or a contest. Fest, or a including contest. a contest to see truly who has the best bagel in New York. For, you know, an aspiring entrepreneur like myself, how would a Garcia administration support that? There are a lot of ways you can help in the, and I plan to when I am New York City's mayor. One is making sure there's public space available. The other is making sure that we're promoting it. There's a whole culture that we can tap into exactly. to really drive people to the bagel strong again. <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw what the New York Times had to say this week, the big bagel controversy. Did you did you Oh take my a look god. At the yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. I, I I had I had put it out of my mind. It was so disturbing. So for those that may not have seen our own New York Times came out with an article saying that California now has better bagels than New York. It was horrifying. It's just unacceptable. I it's like you get to keep your earthquakes, I get to keep my bagels. <laughs> That's how we're going to do this. A couple other horrifying things that we've seen within the political bagel realm have been some very questionable orders. The most famous, Cynthia Nixon. Yes, no, no, it's, I can't. Locks on a cinnamon raisin. No, no. It's, uh, how do you put fish on something sweet? I don't know. It's like, it just doesn't work. It, that pretty much sank her campaign. I think so. Two, your old boss, Bill de Blasio, claimed that his favorite bagel was a toasted whole wheat. They don't toast here. They don't toast. They don't toast here. What, what, what do you think that says about, the, I mean, if, you know, as far as you can talk about it. He doesn't know what it is bagels. Yeah. <laughs> and then lastly, the one that really got a, quite some backlash from the TikTok video that I did ranking the uh, New York City mayoral candidates was Andrew Yang's whole wheat with scallion cream cheese. Any comments on that? Well, it's like the whole wheat bagel. It's too healthy. Bagel is an indulgence. You should just purely enjoy it. You gotta get all the fixings when you do it. Thank you. Okay, see, this is why we trust you. This yes. is why we want you in charge. You know what you're talking about. You're reasonable, you're sensible, and uh, it demonstrates great leadership. I have a little speed round now. Toasted or not toasted? Not toasted. Scooped bagels? No. <laughs> Rainbow bagels? No. New Jersey bagels. No. <laughs> Montreal bagels. I don't even know what those are. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> well, are you hungry? I'm hungry. All right, let's go get a bagel. Let's go get a bagel. And the, the Catherine Garcia bagel. Everything. Cream cheese, lots, onion, tomatoes, uh, and capers. Not toasted. From bagel home. I'm sorry. All right, cheers. cheers.
like down the street from here, right? Mm -hmm. You've been coming here your whole life? Mm -hmm. Luckily, it's, it's walking distance, but a little far, so that I can make them every day. <laughs> My son literally just moved in, like, across the street over there. I was like, oh, you got to make sure you're getting your cardio, my dear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm.